Hey guys, The Case here, and today we're going to be talking about zombies and the zombie apocalypse. The game in the background is Call of Duty World at War Zombies, which I'm sure you already know. <sighs> or at least you recognize it, because it's, it's pretty popular. So, uh, today I'm going to be doing a... Talking a little bit about a zombie apocalypse, and... Hopefully I can get my game to work very well. Alright, here we go. Alright, so um, first off I want to start with uh, what zombies will look like. Uh, not everybody is exactly sure, but we know they're going to be ugly. <laughs> yes, they're definitely going to be ugly. Um, uh, what do you think? Uh, if you have an idea of what you think they should look like, uh, put them down in the, uh, in the uh, section below and uh, tell me what you think. Um, but no, we... Me personally think that the zombies in Call of Duty are not replicant of zombies that are going to exist in the future. Um, but I do think that it, it's a good start. The ones in Call of Duty don't really... Uh, deteriorate is, is what I want to say as much as they should in real or as they would in real life due to you know oxygen and you know the weather wear and tear just normal things that a, a body goes through um yeah um there's a lot of different speculations on how the zombie apocalypse is going to start all these different things that could happen um but I I truly believe that it's all going to be started from a strain of virus that's going to end up becoming, you know, airborne or waterborne or so kind of like kind of like it's going to just come out of nowhere like, you know, we're going to find a strain of virus since, you know, we've been finding all these different kinds of viruses like, you know, swine flu and bird flu and the black plague was found um but I think we're going to find this virus very soon, and then we won't be able to fight it, and our bodies won't be immune to it. So we'll just be stuck becoming zombies. And I think that is how it's going to start. Uh, again, if you have any ideas or suggestions down below, and uh, I'll put you up on the screen next week in our video about ninjas yeah it's gonna be a ninja episode it's gonna be terrible <laughs> but no um, all things considered I think the zombie apocalypse is gonna be a day very soon just because you know medical advances are getting so good right now that we'd be able to tell you know a lot sooner than we would you know a hundred years ago if it would have happened and uh, I think that's cool you know uh, there are some steps you know to pre not prevent it but to uh, ensure that you live through it or you know some ways that I think would be a good way to live through it um, Way number one would be, you know, just wash your hands a lot and, you know, try to stay away from them. Get something between you and them, like uh, some kind of shelter is always a good idea. Um, and you're going to need to defend yourself. So uh, I prefer a melee weapon, like maybe a baseball bat or an axe or something like that. Um... Just just some really cool things like that, you know. Um, I also might be doing a second video on this zombie apocalypse with your guys' responses. It'll be shorter than this one, but it will be a zombie apocalypse video for sure. Um, I'm going to try to keep this pretty short. I'm going to see if I can't keep it under 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm guessing that in the... The next video, 
coming up, you know, about what you guys' responses and answers to my questions are, and you guys' you know, video responses and stuff, I think I'm going to play Left 4 Dead 2 for you guys. Um, and my videos aren't really all going to be, you know, me just ranting about different things like zombies and... I'm going to try to get a few co-op game go games going here soon, but yeah, a lot of them are going to be, you know, just discussing things with you guys. I enjoy having, I enjoy having conversations with, with people, you know, like most YouTubers do, but, uh, yeah, um, the zombie apocalypse is not going to be a fun thing unless, you know, you're into shooting zombies or stabbing zombies or getting bitten a lot. I mean, yeah, it, it'll be cool at first, but then after a while, you know, seeing it in movies and video games is cool and all, but, you know, I think it would probably get pretty tiring and we would probably be complaining a lot because, you know, it's just the way Americans are. And, uh, I think we'd complain, like, a lot about it. Like, uh, we'd be like, oh, there's too many zombies. We need to, you know, get rid of these zombies. And, it, yeah, we gotta get rid of the zombies, but it's probably gonna be our fault that they're gonna, they're gonna be here anyways. Um, but, yeah, uh, so if you guys notice, uh, this is not vanilla Call of Duty Zombies. This is uh, Zombie Realism, which I downloaded recently, and I love it. And I've just been playing it ever since. Um, but aside from that, let's com get back to <laughs> let's get back on track on talking about zombies here. Um, I I expect the zombie apocalypse, you know, to be very very. It's going to be a, a time when people are going to be extremely scared to go outside. I mean, some people already are scared to go outside, and, you know, I think it's just going to increase that more. And it's not going to be a fun time for anybody, but I don't know. It just seems like, you know, all this lore about zombie apocalypse or about the zombies and all that is, you know, just rapidly rapidly growing and it becomes a very interesting perspective when you look at it from pers different perspectives it makes it more interesting and you got to think about this other part that nobody else thinks about you know do are the zombies you know yeah yeah they're humans and yeah they're dead but are do they still have brains i mean if you can still move that then that's that technically means you have a brain but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't that you can think my only problem or my only thought is is if there's a zombie apocalypse what will the zombies feel if anything i mean like you know us as humans we're like oh we don't feel anything <laughs> cuz we're a bunch of jerks but no, zombies, you know, they're going to have, if they have brains, then what would it feel like to be a zombie? And that's going to be your guys' question of the day, is what would it be, feel like to become a zombie? Yeah, I know it's kind of a weird question, but hey, that's all I got to say. The Wunderwaffe Digital. Anyways, you guys probably think I'm crazy or lame or boring or any of that but that's cool you know you're gonna get haters but you know these these zombies are just not fun uh, but you know that, that that's really my only thought on the on the matter is what would the zombie being a zombie feel like I mean it sounds really bad but then again it kind of sounds cool I mean I want to know what a, being a zombie would be like I mean leave a like like if you think you know if if you wonder or like like this video if you know 
You want to know what it being a zombie feels like. Like, if you want to know what being a zombie feels like, it's, it's just crazy to think, you know, us humans, we we know what a lot of things are like, but none of us really know what a, being a zombie would be like. It's, it's kind of scary to think about. I mean, you're undead, but, and that's, that's not cool, but what exactly does it mean? Does it mean that you you won't know what it feels like once you when, once you're a zombie, or would you just feel nothing, or would you feel rage and anger and hate coming coming into you towards you know people or the human race, or would you hunger for brains, or just just all these questions come to mind when you think about zombies? I mean. Everybody's all like, oh, well, the zombie apocalypse its just going to be a bunch of us killing them. It's like, no. There's there's things behind it. And another question, another really good question, this will be the question of the week instead of the question of the day. The question of the day, will I'll read through those and uh, post you guys up on the next video at the end. And the question of the day will be, what do you guys... Or... <laughs> Would you guys be able to kill your best friend or a family member if there was a zombie apocalypse? Like if you were looking, or if if zombies actually feel, and there would be a zombie apocalypse, like if zombies actually had feelings and you know could talk and stuff like that, and you know and had this just just a thirst for you know brain, what or would you be able to kill? A family member. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of like, like a crazy question, but I'm being honest. That's this seems like a pretty good question. But, and you guys always usually know best. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a zombie is just a hunk of flesh with a brain to move the body parts, right? I could be wrong. I, I think I might be wrong because, you know, I, I've seen some videos where people are all like, no, zombies zombies never can have feelings. But I th honestly think that that part, some zombies would be different. Uh, some some would, you know, some would be the mindless zombies that we know and love. Uh, but but some, you know, would still have parts of the brain that, that aren't broken and that aren't decay. The, uh, the part of the brain that lets them talk or let them communicate or you know the part that shows hunger or, and you know personality you know I don't think that part will decay unless of course that's what the virus causes it, if it causes a decaying of that part of the brain then it wouldn't technically be called zombification then it would just be called you know like a virus or you know something like that it, it's just it's just things to think about, you know. Um, another thing would be, uh, what would be your weapon of choice in the zombie apocalypse? This this is going to be the question we will talk about in the next video while I'm playing Left 4 Dead 2. What would be your number one zombie apocalypse weapon? Personally? Personally, I would probably go for either an axe or some kind of uh, maybe maybe a tonfa or or a staff, maybe a wakizashi, um, or even uh, a naginta. I, I I prefer using long range, you know, like pole arms against zombies, so I can keep them at bay. Um, I wouldn't like them getting close to me in case you know it's an airborne virus. You know, the people that get breathed on are gonna you know, get freaking zombified. And if it if it would be airborne, I would probably go with not just uh, not not just a a naginta or a pole arm. I would actually go for something a bit more long range, 
and would even go to say maybe a sniper rifle. I mean, I am a, th I do have a thing for long for sniper rifles, and uh, I do have a thing for uh, not not only sniper rifles, but uh, me melee weapons. And I just think that melee weapon would be more effective in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, bullets. Woo! They're gonna go through their body. They're not gonna you know, do what they do in this game, you know, see how I'm blowing their body, or their body parts off, that wouldn't happen, it'd be more like, it'd be more like me shooting them and the bullets going through them, not necessarily doing a lot of damage. There wouldn't be as much, the, the, the gore effect really wouldn't be much, I mean, if I shot a zombie in the head, yeah, maybe his head would explode, but it would have to be a pretty big bullet. Not necessarily shooting him like, like with with the uh, Gewehr or the G or the as it is right now the G15 G115 compressor, um, which you know, just you know is ripping them apart and sh as if I shoot him in the head enough, it just explodes. It would. It. I honestly don't think that it would do that. I think maybe if you hit it in the right spot with the right kind of gun, with the right kind of bullet, and the right kind of muzzle velocity, maybe. that's the, uh, and, and that's why I would go for a sniper, because bigger bullets make bigger holes. But, like, uh, but I think that using a melee weapon, if you swing it hard enough, you could do some massive damage. Like, if you hit it directly like in the face, it would explode its head. It wouldn't just like you know, just uh, like like the knife you know when you knife somebody. It would just it just stabs it and doesn't do a lot of damage. It just you know hits them. It's like oh oh the knife not gonna do no damage like that. I think that if you hit a zombie in the head with a knife, it would bleed significantly more. And if you stabbed it in the back of the head. It would break the spinal cord, or it would sever the spinal cord and cut off all, you know, connection to the brain, which is what I think that would be the kind of weapon I would want in, in a zombie apocalypse. I would want something that I can use from a distance, but still inflict massive damage with. That's why my choice would be a Naginta, or some kind of pull arm. That way I could keep them, you know, at, at, with, without, or outside of arm's length. And still do a lot of damage. And it would have to be something I could swing fast. Also why I chose the Naginta. Because the Naginta can be swung over 60 miles an hour. Which is an amazing speed for a weapon. Uh, other than, you know, bullets travel like... Can travel anywhere from, you know, 5,000 5, KB... Or KB... KPS? KM? Uh, yeah, screw it. They travel really fast, a lot faster than 60 miles an hour. I'm guessing they travel somewhere anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 miles an hour, depending on which gun it is. But like I said, you know, the I think having a pole arm or some kind of melee weapon, maybe a baseball bat, so I can you know get that final that finishing blow to do a, so much damage. That would be. It makes more sense to do it that way than. To do it this way. That's why that's why I like Dead Island a lot because it does it, you know, with melee weapons, you know. That that's the way to kill zombies. You're not gonna just shoot a zombie to kill it because it's gonna do less damage. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm I'm gonna finish off this uh, horde here and I'm gonna go. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe if you like the video and if I made you think or made you made you comment or come up with some idea some different idea for zombies like this video and as and as most people say on YouTube thanks for watching guys come on,